this week in Hyrule, it's time to bust out those three ring binders and card sleeves. Your news recap starts now. Hello all you beautiful people and welcome once again to This Week in Hyrule. Now starting things off, it looks like Nintendo has found another way to take all of our money. In October of last year, we reported that Zelda trading cards were being released. Well, they are almost here, folks. According to EB Games, the cards are set to launch on June 30th. If you're so inclined, you can go to the EB Games website to pre-order the individual six card booster packs for six US dollars, or you can pre-order the collector's box for 20 US dollars. The box comes with four booster packs, a poster, a collector's pin, and a decal or tattoo. The cards themselves will be based on five games from the franchise, including Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask, and Ocarina of Time. And the base set will consist of 85 cards. We still, however, don't know if this will be a card game like Magic the Gathering, or if they will simply be collectible cards. Either way, be on the lookout for these to drop later this summer. Moving right along, it's time to talk a little bit more about a game that I love, Hyrule Warriors. The Hyrule Warriors Legends Master Wind Waker DLC pack is being released in Europe and Japan on May 19th. Players will be able to get four new character costumes, an adventure map, and new My Fairy outfits. And Medley will be coming as a free update. No official word on a North American release date yet. Finally, we do have some good news for North American Zelda fans. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass is now available on the Wii U eShop for $9.99 US. Now, in November of last year, ports of both Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks were released on the European eShop, so hopefully we'll also see a US release of Spirit Tracks sometime in the future. Alright, that's it for news, let's go ahead and check out those contests. For the caption contest, we had you guys captioning the first of many chic-centric pictures. My favorite this week goes to this entry by Colton Gagnier, or Link. Continuing the chic trend for the Photoshop contest, folks were tasked with coming up with a chic spin-off title. My favorite absolutely goes to this entry by Nerf Them All. Like, I want this game to happen. It needs to have a big plastic harp controller with colored buttons. I want this on store shelves next to Guitar Hero. Well that about does it for me. If you want any more information on the stories discussed in this video, you can check out the links in the description. Keep it locked to Zelda Informer for all your Zelda news. I'm Matt, and this was your week in Hyrule.